today's video, I'm just gonna be vlogging throughout the day. I'm also gonna show you guys my updated packaging, how I package and ship off my orders. So I have an order right here, and basically now my bulk orders will be packaged in a box like this. I also have a bigger one, which I will show y'all later on when I go pick them up from the office. But this is my six by four by three box so this is the other box that i was telling y'all that's a little bit larger and i'm going to put the size on the screen i will have this box link in the description bar down below also the first thing i place in the box is my rose gold tissue paper then i take my crinkle paper and i put that in there so this customer ordered one silver star hairpin, a snake hairpin, a rose lip oil, and a rose lip gloss wand tube and unscented. So I have all of her things right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and package it up. Take my share bag and I put my business card in there. And I also put the coupon card in here. Now I'm gonna turn this around because I don't wanna expose this coupon code. So then we're gonna take her lip gloss and put that in here. Her lip oil. And I'm gonna put her candy in here. So when you order from me, you do get candy in your orders. So I have Jolly Rancher Lollipops at the moment and Airheads. So you get one of each. So I'm gonna put that in here as well. And close it up put it in there like that and then I'm gonna take her hairpins and just place them in the box like this now I'm gonna add rose petals rose petals are back I know a couple of my customers like when I have rose petals in the packaging and my rose gold confetti and then I'm gonna take her pack and slip and put that right on top And seal it with a thank you sticker so this is the new and improved packaging so I'm just gonna close that up and then I'm gonna take this and put her shipping label on top and this package will be ready to go got a package from FedEx. This time my package is a little bit different. I restocked on a couple of styles that I already have. My vendor be out of stock on a lot of styles y'all. So if you go on my website and a style is still not in stock, it will be very, very soon. My camera died when I was opening the package but basically these are the bonnets that I got and I also got longer bonnets for braids dreads or you know if you have extremely long hair I got the Chanel and the Louis Vuitton I was gonna get more styles but when I tell y'all my vendor be out of stock on certain styles they be out of stock on certain styles so since these are something new that I'm adding to my site. Just stick with two styles and see how those go. Then now let me know if I should expand different styles. So the newest styles that I added to the bonnet is the Versace, the Floral Gucci. I had about five people ask me about this particular style. I finally got that one. Um, I have the Royal Blue Louis Vuitton Supreme. I got sticky notes on them so I know how much I have for inventory. And then I restocked on the regular Gucci, the red Louis Vuitton Supreme, and of course, everybody's favorite, the black and white Chanel. These sell out like crazy. So I already know that these longer ones, they're gonna sell out. So this is what the longer bonnets look like. As you guys can see, they are really long and the inside of these are black not pink like the other bonnets 
they're black inside same thing for this style black inside i'm going to actually demonstrate all these knotless braids is getting old as y'all can see so i've been wearing headbands and y'all excuse that that's my washing machine okay so i have braids they're not that long but they definitely will fit in this bonnet perfectly this is what the bonnet looks like with my braids in as y'all can see my braids fit perfectly in this bonnet and i can just go to sleep comfortably like this because you know when you first get your hair done depending on who does it it'd be tight and you can't wear your hair up i wear my braids up a lot which is how i'm able to fit them in my regular size bonnets but if you want to wear them down these bonnets would be perfect so i'm really excited to see how these sell i got some mail to open this right here is my light bill let's see how much my light bill is 91 dollars and 56 cents Ooh, it went up last month it was 70 77 i think oh lord i gotta cut back on the electricity i'm almost at a hundred damn dollars these are my lash labels so i got three new lashes their names are darling honey and view that's short for beautiful and these are the labels i also got more of the rose labels because i have a couple of rose lashes but i ran out of labels so i didn't count them in inventory but let me show you guys the three new lashes that i have i can't wait to add these to my site now that i have labels for them they are 25 millimeter lashes because as of right now i only have two 25 millimeter lash styles on my site so at this point, I'm just expanding my brand. This is style number one, style number two, and style number three. For those that don't know, majority of my lashes, they have Southern names. That's the theme that I wanted for my lash names. I feel like it's different. I don't see that with a lot of other lash companies. Usually people name their lashes after um, countries, cities, you know, stuff like that. So I wanted to be different. I'm a Southern girl, so I wanted my lashes to have Southern names. Now, Lee, Jayla, and Rose, I don't think I've ever explained those names to y'all. Those lashes were named after my family members. So Rose is named after my grandmother, Lee is named after my mom, and Jayla is named after my sister, okay? So that's where those names come from. 843, Country Girl, Palmetto, Folly, um carolina darling honey Bew, all of those are southern names that's the little meaning behind my lash names so i'm gonna go ahead and package these lashes i gotta send out some pr packages y'all i haven't sent out pr packages in a little while because it took forever for my lashes to get back in stock and most of the people that's on my pr team they already have all of my lashes except for these new ones so i gotta send those out today was a long day a lot of stuff has happened like not gonna lie i almost didn't get on camera today if it wasn't for me getting those bonnets today i probably wouldn't have vlogged because today was just a lot and i actually was not in a good mood but it's okay i'm better i went to ross today and i got these bamboo pillows these look so freaking comfortable and they thick these pillows was like 15 dollars each i think and they better not go flat because this pillow i got this from walmart this is a serta pillow it went flat this mainstays bamboo pillow it's flat as hell compared to this pillow look what in the hell? <laughs> so hopefully these don't get flat. I got these from Ross and I think these are actually name brand. Mainstays is a name brand too, but you know, that's Walmart's cheaper brand. Sometimes cheaper things are good and sometimes they're not. Um, when it comes to my sleep, I'm gonna spend a little bit more money. I think that's all I wanna tell you guys, right? Yeah, um, I am having a spooky season sale y'all please excuse my shirt this is deodorant i'm probably going to start it either the end of this month or the beginning of next month probably the beginning of october so probably october 1st 
I'm gonna let the sale run till October 31st because it's been a little while since I've had a sale. I think my last sale was sometime in August. So yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek of the flyer. So y'all can kind of get an idea of how the sale is gonna go. So face masks will be $5.31. Bonnets and necklaces will be $10.31. Headbands, they will be $5.31. And lashes will be $6.31. As y'all can see, 31 cents, that's because of Halloween, October 31st. So <laughs> y'all already know I do crazy stuff like that. Like Valentine's Day, all of my lashes was $2.14. Um, Juneteenth, a lot of stuff I had on sale for $6.19 because June 19th, February 14th. So I do stuff like that just to be a little creative, you know, just to be a little different. All right, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. I've just been extremely busy and just, you know, going through life but the website video will be coming up so let's talk about that the reason why i haven't posted that video yet is because i had to figure out how in the hell to screen record my laptop y'all that is not easy with auto that was not easy at all plus my laptop is acting slow these days and i don't know why i do have an older macbook i think i got a 2014 because i was not about to buy no brand new one okay that's rent money i'm gonna get it together for y'all my laptop is right here okay we're gonna try this again and I'm gonna try to get the video out. If I can't do the laptop, I'm gonna have to screen record my phone. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.